Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! For today, we will discuss how to add and subtract functions. We have here the following functions to consider later on. So let us start with addition. Number 1. That can be written as f of x plus that is p of x. Now we have to look at our given and then substitute the following functions here f of x is equal to x plus 3 and then p of x is equal to 2x minus 7 now you have to look for like terms here like terms of the same variable and exponent so we have one here so that's 1x plus 2x a total of 3x and then 3 minus 7 different signs subtract which is 4 take the sign of the bigger number so that's negative 4. This is our final answer. Let's now proceed to number 2. That can be written as v of x plus g of x. Now we have to look at our given here and substitute according to our function. So v of x is x squared plus 5x plus 4. And g of x is x squared plus 2x minus 8. Now we have to look for like terms here. Terms with the same variable and exponent. So we have here the following. There is 1 here and 1 here. So a total of 2. Then just copy the common variable and the exponent. Next, 5x plus 2x a total of 7x now we have here 4 and 8 so different signs now we have to subtract take the sign of the bigger number so it's negative this is our answer we are now on number 3 we can write that one as f of x plus h of x now f of x is equal to x plus 3 and then h of x is equal to the fraction quantity x plus 7 all over quantity 2 minus x. Now, let us make both functions a fraction. So, to do that, let us place a denominator of 1 to the first function. Remember that that is a valid step since all terms divided by 1 is just equal to itself. Now, our LCD here is 2 minus x. Remember that we have to divide our LCD to the denominator and then multiply the answer to our numerator. So, let's start. 2 minus x divided by 1 is just itself. Multiply to the numerator. So, we have quantity x plus 3 multiplied to quantity 2 minus x. And then we have here 2 minus x divided by itself, so it's 1. 1 multiplied to the numerator, so we'll just have x plus 7. Let us now do the FOIL method here. x times 2, that is 2x. x times negative x, that's negative x squared. 3 times 2, that's positive 6. 3 times negative x, that's negative 3x. And then we'll just copy plus x plus 7. Still over 2 minus x. Now let us look for like terms here. Negative x squared is just alone. There's no other x squared in these terms. So we have to proceed 2x minus 3x, that's negative 1x plus 1x. So that will give us 0. We won't be writing that one anymore. So let's proceed to 6 plus 7. That is equal to positive 13. And then copy our denominator. 
2 minus x and this is our final answer. We are now with the next operation, subtraction. Let's start with number 1. That can be written as p of x minus f of x. Again, let's look at the given and then substitute. p of x is 2x minus 7 minus, enclose the second function in a parenthesis, x plus 3. Now, we have to enclose it in a parenthesis so that we can distribute negative. We have here 2x minus 7, negative times positive, so that's negative x, same with negative 3. We have here like terms, 2x and negative 1x, so that is 1x or simply x. Now, we have the same sign here, so add and then copy the sign. And this is our final answer. Let us now proceed to number 2. So that can be written as v of x minus p of x. v of x is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 4. And then copy minus, always enclose the second function in a parenthesis. So we have 2x minus 7. Again, that is because we have to distribute negative to each term later on. So, let us copy this portion here. And then, negative times positive. So, that's negative 2x. Negative times negative, that's positive. Now, let's look for like terms here. There's no other x squared. So, we'll simply copy this. And then, 5x minus 2x. So, that is 5 minus 2, so positive 3x. Now, 4 plus 7, that is positive 11. And this is our final answer. We now have number 3. That can be written as h of x minus p of x. Now, looking at our given, h of x is equal to the fraction x plus 7 all over 2 minus x minus our p of x is 2x minus 7. The second function should always be enclosed in a parenthesis so that we can distribute negative later on. And we will make it into a fraction so it's all over 1. We have to make it into a fraction because the first function is a fraction. Our LCD here is 2 minus x. Remember that you have to divide the LCD to the denominator and multiply the answer to the numerator. So we have here 2 minus x divided by 2 minus x, it's 1. 1 times x plus 7 is x plus 7. Then copy minus. And then we'll proceed here. 2 minus x divided by 1 is 2 minus x multiplied to the numerator. So we have here. 2x minus 7 multiplied to the LCD 2 minus x. We will first perform the FOIL here. So, copy x plus 7 and then 2x times 2 here is 4x. 2x times negative x, that's negative 2x squared. And then negative 7 times 2, that's negative 14 Negative 7 times negative x is positive 7x. And then, simply copy our LCD to minus x. So, we will distribute the negative now. So, copy first x plus 7. So, that will be negative 4x. Negative times negative is positive 2x squared. Negative times negative is positive 14. Negative times positive is negative 7x. Again, copy our LCD. Inspecting our terms here, we only have 1 with variable x squared. So, we'll simply copy that 1. And then we have here x, negative 4x, and then negative 7x. So, that is a total of negative 10x. 
and we have 7 plus 14 and that is positive 21 and then we will simply copy the LCD 2 minus X and this is our final answer that is all for today thank you and see you on our next video lesson